Hey fellas, got a rocket stove build for you today. This was from a guy who contacted me quite a while ago asking me about a rocket stove that he had bought which he couldn't get it to burn clean, he couldn't get it to hardly burn at all really and I had a few conversations with him by email but I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Eventually he brought it to me, I showed you in one of my last videos that it wasn't just was never going to burn it was just badly designed so what we did we um we decided amongst us between us that i would make him another one anyway and and this is the build here it is a awesome fantastic stove it uses a lot of the elements from all the builds and the information i've sort of gathered together from building rocket stoves um, and there's a few new f features in it that I haven't done before and they really have paid off. The stove um, it's very very economic it puts out about 400 just over 400 degrees on the exchanger at the top 411 I think and that was just fueling it with one box full of wood and half as much again which was kind of like a five gallon bucket and that burn took over two hours and we topped 400 degrees with it the whole bottle was was just blistering hot so that that's this build now um for the patreon chaps if you're gonna if you're gonna help me out with patreon so i can just get more videos out fellas you know and i can just spend a bit more time video editing everyone asked me to put more videos out so that's what i want to do with the patreon thing um just just go down to the patreon link below and you know set set that up uh, I'll put the full video on Patreon and it'll be there for two or three weeks before I actually eventually put it on YouTube because I don't want to just make the Patreon thing just dead exclusive just for the Patreon people you know so uh, I'll release it there first and it'll be week and month month ahead maybe of, of actually going on to YouTube um, and all that that video is an hour and a half um, and it's got the whole build in it, it's got all the dimensions, the sizes, the actual whole build process is there and um, there'll, there'll be a plan and I'm, I'm doing a further backup vid after reviewing all the footage um, and that's, that will be on Patreon as well so the backup vid will be there with alternate sizes, alternate dimensions for just different builds different bottles different sizes of build um so anyway this is the rocket stove build for you youtube guys catch you soon forging a katana at the moment and that is the next video that will be coming up possibly after this one all right fellas okay so this is this is the bottle i'm going to use for the stove body it's a four foot old gas bottle I have my firebox welded up and I've cleaned the weld off best as I can, all the weld splatter and everything. I've, I've tacked it and welded it along the inside as well so it's a good good strong joint that now. And then my next job is to put in these side pieces which will transfer the air from the outer bottom of the firebox allow the air to come up and enter through the side there. I am ready to do this casting now. There's my form, which is I've been filled with uh, play sand, soft sand, and I'm going to just temporarily fix them to pieces of shutter there. And that's just to stop the refractory from pouring out of uh, the sides. And I'll, I'll just probably do that with some hot melt glue or something like that. And the, I've cut a piece of weld mesh to sit in the bottom of here and I'll put a bit of refractory in, spread it out. I'll put that on top and then I'll just top it off with refractory. I've set up the firebox and the riser tube just so I can get the, the correct dimensions here for this burn tunnel. So I've made a bit of progress with the firebox in so much as I've, um, I've put them two uh, passages in, they've been welded in with the strips of metal on them, I'm not sure if you can see them there, 
I've already showed you them, haven't I? And the, the base is cast and dried, and I've lined it with this vermiculite boarding. You can see that I poured a refractory in the bottom, just to lock everything in place, and to fill the void in underneath the riser tube. And a few little sticks on. And just get them to catch. where we are just topped up the rest of that fuel so that's one kind of one fuel load or one box full of fuel <laughs> you see this, this this the paint is now really burning off this stove it stinks yeah the whole bottle is smoking smoking hot temperatures are 384 degrees yeah it's about the best I can find about 384 384 380 the flu temperature away from the stove is 59 centigrade yeah you can see the flu there oh, I can actually hold the flu for you it's not so hot I can't touch it but you can see there, there's no smoke coming out of it, nothing at all. We're just billowing smoke from the stove. It's a lovely little stove that is. And it's open its air up. to life. Finally I brought the stove inside just in some still air away from the sort of breeze outside and because it's just starting to rain out there. Put a few more sticks in and this just shows you where now where it's really punching the heat out. 411 centigrade 773 Fahrenheit. It's an amazing little stove this. Oh god that is hot. Just the heat radiating off the top of there is incredible. Um, so I've finally figured out and I can explain to the guy now fully when he comes for it exactly how to operate this stove. If you want a really hot burn just with the wood racing through you just burn it with the door open. There's more than enough draft for that to pull all the fumes away, all the gases, everything into that riser tube and punch out tremendous amounts of heat. You can say 411 on the top of the bottle. Uh, the sides of the bottle are at 380 degrees. Even the bottom of the bottle is 280 degrees. It has pushed up the flue temperature to 110 degrees. Um, so yeah this is the final the final bit of this video chaps see you later <laughs>